Yeah, we're gonna do not rate the ultras, but rate the ultimates. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ultimate perfect. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. It's pretty good. He, he does he does a Jago spirit bomb and he has that like crazy ass like whipping thing in the back. Nice little reference there. There we go. It's good. I, actually, I'm gonna give that one an eight out of 10. I think that shit is cool. These ultimates are good because obviously KI has always been a T-rated game. I think that's an eight because it's a good use of the character. It's a good use of the space. It does look vicious. It's just about, it's just about showing that. Like you don't need raw gourd for something to be intense. I think that one does a good job. There's an even better one later on. Get him, Glacius. I like it. I never really paid attention to the fact of how much he's manipulating the ice, where he's like, ice construct, break that shit, stab you. I'm gonna give it an eight as well. Not quite a nine. I think it's, I think it's still a really good effective use and you get the idea. You are impaled on the ice construct. Ah, damn frog. <laughs> the best part was when Rash looked up at him and went, yeah, <laughs> like smiled at his ass. I'll give it a seven. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Definitely stomped the shit and used his body as a as a lightning rod to murder him. I like that. The, the Rash smile made it pretty damn good. Big fan of the Rash smile. Here we go. Oh, whippity zippity. Oh, and you get extreme close up. The only, and I remember, I remember asking them about this. I can't remember, it might've been too late. I do like it a lot. Hmm, I'm gonna give it an eight, but the problem is the ending. The ending is the, everything else is really cool. And eight is what it deserves, because the ending, what it really needs is the slash needs to be bigger, have like more of like a, like a, like a slash to it. Like he's actually like murdering you. What should be happening in the slash is you hear the guy go, ah! Like as you, as the characters get hit and they get murdered, like in the uh, the ultras and shit, they have this echoing scream when the character loses a round, like uh, 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 that happens for every character in this game. Still, pretty good, not bad. Oh shit. I think it's, it's once again, it's an eight because I think it could be better. I think that final hit needs to have that, like that, like that death rattle impact. Big fucking swipe that makes it seem like you've taken them out or they scream or something like that. It's still really good. It's just, there needs to be something on that. And that's the thing, it's like, I know a lot of stuff that happened in KI, they had to tone down because of the teen rating. And it could be because of that. It could be they had to tone some stuff down because of maybe some requirements where they couldn't do it. I think that actually might be the reason. For them to get so much other of the audio in the game right, for them to get so much correct in the game, for that part to be like lacking impact in audio, doesn't make a lot of sense, you know? Still, I'm gonna give it um, I'm gonna give it an eight because I think it's very fitting of the character. All right, Fogor. Beep boop beep. Fulgore's ultimate brings me a special kind of satisfaction. I'm gonna give Fulgore's a uh, nine out of 10. I can't give it a perfect one. Can't give it a, a perfecto out of perfecto, but I can give it a pretty decent high rating. Ugh. Ugh. It 
it's not bad. It's definitely one of the weaker ones, but damn, do I love the like, uh, like straight, like, like super anime punch man, like, uh, and it like hooks around and you slug him in the face. Um, it's okay. I think it's like, I think it's like a six, maybe a five. It's it's very tame because all he does essentially is punch you. I like it. It's just that I don't love it. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it. Ah, I'm going to give it a five. Give it a five. Sorry. Sorry, JT. Here we go. Maya's is pretty good. I won't lie. I think Maya's is also a nine out of 10. I like the knives like controlling themselves. I like you getting impaled like right in, right into the neck of the knives. I think it's really cool, man. Nine out of 10. I like Maya's a lot. Ripter's got the cute one. Oh, she missed. <laughs> Ripter ends up getting the cute one. It's a very weird one though, but it ends up with a, oh, she burned him alive and then sat on the body. <laughs> it's a strange one, that's for sure. Wholesome, murderous and wholesome is what they're going for. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for a seven because it's got the Dawes and uh, that's good. That's very good. Here we go. Actually, Arya's is pretty cool. Like the sound is actually good on this one. The other ones have sort of miffled sounds. This one is like super anime and kind of nuts. And the, the impact feels really good on this one. I want to give it like a nine out of 10. Pretty good in comparison to the rest of them that we've seen. I think it's really good. Come here, you asshole. Uh-oh. <laughs> he put up uh, six walls around him, so that's like 120% damage. Agonos has a pretty good one. It, it once again is missing the, uh, God, like the, the big scream as you get hit to death. Although it is really damn cool. I'm gonna give that one a nine out of 10. I actually love it. I like that he rolls up, puts you in the damn, in the chamber and then smashes you in, blows up the chamber and then it smashes his way out. Yeah, you went, you went, you went, you went bowling. I'm gonna give that one a nine out of 10, man. Here we go. <laughs> Kim's face. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> His taco gets a 10 out of 10. No bias. <laughs> Kim's fucking face. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, 10 out of 10. Of course, his taco's got one of the best ones. You get to see every character react like, oh, like this horrified fucking face. You could probably do that on the whole roster outside of the robot faces and get some pretty, pretty interesting looking reactions. Do rash? All right. <laughs> the the the, uh, <laughs> the look over the shoulder pretty good. <laughs> he does have a big goofy face as well. Here, Kilgore time. We're gonna have to try it on another character. I like it that Conra is kind of into the fact that he's about to get his ass blown up. <laughs> he says, hmm, this might be fun. Oh man, she's super creepy because she's got all these teeth. I think Kilgore is a 10 out of 10, sorry. I think Kilgore is indeed a, uh, a proper 10 out of 10. Ooh. So, 
In brutal honesty, this is my favorite ultimate in the game. I think Tusk gets the coolest one with the best implication of violence, of maiming. I think it's great. I think this one's a 10 out of 10. Lights the whole place on fire and it's like, Ugh! then he stabs the shit out of you. I uh, really like this one. Ah, that one came off a little weird. That one came off a, a, a little weird. Like, I get what they're going for, but her face looks odd. And it's paced a little funky. I'm gonna give that one, like, a four. It's only okay. It was either an off-screen suck or a kiss. <laughs> it's okay. It's like a four out of ten. Let's do the stage ultras. Stage ultra! Rap. Supreme! <laughs> That one happens very fast. Finals happens kind of quick. I think TJ is one of the best ones for that because he literally punches you in the air. He either says wrecked or he says rad. Uh, either way, I think that one's a nine out of 10. Let's get, let, I, I almost want TJ to do every single one in his Christmas outfit, damn it. There we go. Stage ultra! Yeah. Merry Christmas, asshole. <laughs> I like this one a lot. I think it's cool as hell. I like that he ban it, like literally sends your ass to space and then closes the book on you. I'm so, it's, it's a little rough around the edges. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Here we go. Stage Ultra. That was pretty great. Yeah, I'm gonna give the one a nine out of 10. I think it's pretty damn awesome that all the undead show up to take you down. And then you try to get the hell back and she smacks you back in. Get the hell back in there. Get the hell in there. I think it's right in, the, in this thing, yeah. There we go, right in the middle. Stage Ultra. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> it just goes back. <laughs> his, his big dumb laugh. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I, I'd give that one a seven. I also think it's pretty damn cool. There we go. Oh shit. It's okay. That one's okay. It does happen very fast. I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a six. Very. It happens very quick. It feels like almost something more should happen. Like it should explode or something like that. But a six. There we go. Stage ultra. My bats. <laughs> Knock off. Uh, that is a that is a really really cool ending pose with the drop down is funny as hell. Uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it like a five. But the ending pose, mm, the ending pose is uh is really cool. I think that's like the best part of it. Um yeah, no scream, like no, just they just they see him fall for a very long time. So who had the best ultimates? I definitely think the best ultimates belong to Kilgore as well as Tusk, but I think that I have a big soft spot for his tacos. I'd actually say overall, I think the best ultimate in this game is uh, Hisako. It's such great pacing, it's creepy, it's freaky. Arias was also really damn good. I, I have a personal friggin' love Fulgors, but I'd say Hisako overall is like the best one in the game. The ultimates aren't bad. Like only a few of them are like, eh, that's all right. Like, eh, it's only okay. But for the most part, like the larger 75% of them are actually pretty good.